Hello, hello, and welcome to part three of the Halloween series. You have to let me know at the end of this if you want me to do a part four. In this one, we are going to go item over items that sold for $400 up to almost $700. No particular type of items, just all Halloween themes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this first one I believe is kind of a topper. It's very, very small and it sold for over $400. This is a Nora Fleming Mini Boo Buddy Ghost Retired Rare. You can see the little stick on the bottom here. So I'm not sure exactly what this is. It does look like it's ceramic and I did not see that it was signed anywhere. All right, so we made it through part one and part two without Mackenzie Childs, but we are not gonna make it through part three. So here is a Mackenzie Childs Halloween item. This is a Mackenzie Childs Halloween Mod Witch Hat Cake Plate, brand new in the box. This one sold for $399. Here you can see them up close, they do separate. This would be really, really cute to put cupcakes around that witch hat or you could put a cake on the whole stand. All right, next is the first mug we have seen and this mug sold for $400. This is a Death Wish Coffee Rare 2015 Headless Horseman mug and shot glass, low number. It sold for $450. Here they are up close side by side. I will tell you it depends on the exact mug. Some of these go for $50, $60, $70. This one must have been more rare because it sold for $450. All right, another brand we made it through the first two videos without is Tiffany. The next one is a Tiffany Ghost. This is a Tiffany & Co. Sterling Silver and White Enamel Ghost Charm Pendant Rare with the original Tiffany pouch. This one sold for $450. And here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Tiffany & Co. 925. All right, we had one Squishmallow before. Here's another Squishmallow, but this one is small. This is a rare Zachary Zombie Squishmallow. This one's a key clip. This one is small. It was a 2019 Canadian exclusive. It sold for $459.26. Here it is up close. You can see up top the little clip. This is a small Squishmallow that sold for crazy money. All right, at the end of part two of the Halloween series, we ended with somebody using the word Dan Post as a keyword spam. This next one is actually a Dan Post. This is a, ooh, it's Don Post. Sorry, Don Post. This is a 2002 Don Post Numboy Rat Fink Mask Rob Zombie Rare Excellent Condition. It sold for $449.99. Here you can see it up close with the detail. I also wanted to show you it laying down here with the hand. And then underneath, this one doesn't look like it's a marked Don Post, but it does have the original UPC. Up next is another Halloween VHS that sold for hundreds. This is a Blood Harvest VHS Tiny Tim Congress Horror Holy Grail Sleaze Rare Like New. This one was an auction, got 54 bids and sold for $462.66. And I did want to show you here, they do lay out the VHS to show it. So if you do get a VHS, I definitely recommend photographing that VHS outside of the case. All right, I was talking with my good friend Katie Reeds when I was researching for the Halloween videos. And Katie said she might do a book version of this. And I want to tell you, I only came across this one book so hopefully Katie will do one specifically on books for us so that we will know Halloween books that can sell for good money. This next one is the only book, the only book in my three videos. This is a 1886 
the Golden Dawn Pots. This is an occult death ghost haunted vintage Halloween antique. This is a title full of keywords. This one sold for $462.79. And here you can see they did open it up to show the inside of the dust cover and actual pages of the book. All right, this is the next one you have seen if you watch my Longa Burger video that I put out two weeks ago. This next one is a Longa Burger Halloween basket. This is a Longa Burger 2013 Wicked Witch basket with the liner protector and tie on. This one sold for $449.99. And here you can see the basket up close. Really cool. It has the broom as the handle, the little witch hat on the lid. And then here up close, you can see the tie on is the witch's shoes. Okay. I showed you a group of postcards in the first of the Halloween series. This next one is a single postcard that sold for hundreds. This is a antique Halloween greetings postcard which is cauldron and bat. It is dated 1914. This single postcard sold for $465.88. Here you can see it up close. It says Halloween greetings. It has the two witches with the cauldron. And then here on the back, you can see the date is stamped November 2nd, 1914. This one, I do want to point out, was an auction. Got 24 bids to sell for that $465. All right, up next is a mattel halloween toy if you do not know if you see vintage mattel toys in the box i would definitely look them up there are a lot of them worth big money this is a boglins vintage puppet 1988 original halloween blobkin this one was in the original box with the tag and it sold for four hundred and seventy four dollars and ninety nine cents here you can see it up close. Here you can see it up close with the tag hanging. And then I wanted to show you they did show the tag from the back as well. All right, up next is some more Department 56 Halloween. This is a lot of two Department 56 Halloween. This is a circus tent, Travis Louie, Dolly's World of Hypnosis. This one, again, the seller used a video to show that it works. It sold for $400 and $48 and here you can see they did have the original boxes. All right we have got another Christopher Radko Halloween ornament. This is a Radko ice cream cone ha 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 a witch glass dome. This was an auction got 17 bids sold for $473.88 and here you can see up close the witch inside of the globe. All right, we've seen VHSs, we have not seen DVDs, but coming up next is a set of Blu-rays. This is Halloween, the complete collection, Blu-ray Scream Factory out of print, mint. This one sold for $485. Here it is up close, so you can see it does have all of the Halloween titles and it was a box set. So again, watch out for horror movies, watch out for Halloween movies, definitely look them up if you come across them. This next one is some more Bystel. This is two vintage Halloween Bystel die cut cats, bats, and rats. This one is little candy cup containers. It was an auction, got 10 bids, and sold for $492.99. I did want to show you them here up close. They are little foldable containers. And then here on the bottom, you can see it clearly says made in the USA. All right, next is a miniature that sold for almost $500. This is a We Forest Folk Halloween Dreams limited edition. This is retired pumpkin set. It sold for $499. Here it is up close. This is a miniature TT Tiny with all of the little Halloween stuff. And that was a great sale at almost $500. All right, next is a Motionette. We saw one in one of the prior videos. 
this is another one i always take a second look at motion outs because they can bring big money this is a halloween telco two foot animated motionette this one is a scarecrow it sold for four hundred dollars here you can see it from the side it's wearing its little plaid shirt its hat and it's holding a pumpkin all right if you've been watching my channel for a long time you have heard us talk about on tuesday night live my youtube bff dale flipping fiasco found two build-a-bears worth over seven hundred dollars she found two of them at a yard sale paid four dollars sold one for seven hundred the other for twelve hundred this next one is a build-a-bear halloween one that sold for five hundred dollars this is a rare build-a-bear candy corn kitty cat white orange yellow halloween it sold for 500 here the kitty cat is up close really really cute candy corn oh colors gosh, on this so really really cute candy corn colors and then here on the back is the tag saying build a bear up next is another die cut it does say salesman sample i'm not really sure how they would determine that but i will go ahead and show you the pictures this is a super rare huge valid huge vintage halloween jol die cut denison salesman sample it was an auction got 17 bids and sold for 480 dollars and here i wanted to show you up close on the side it does say denison usa all right up next is something i probably could do a research video on by itself it is a monster high doll and a lot of them are very very valuable this is a Monster High Collector IT Pennywise Collector doll. This one sold for $500. Here you can see her face up close. Really, really cool detail on her. And that was a great sale for $500. We moved in some suitcases of clothes earlier and there were two skinks inside of there. We have a lot of skinks that live at our house. So having dalton call brad to see if he can come get him because i'm i i don't want to grab a ski i don't want to grab a ski because not like a lizard i don't feel like it's like a lizard. i don't know okay okay let's move on next is a candy bucket that sold for over 500 dollars this is a vintage 1930s germany halloween they did put weirdo devil candy case this one sold for 511 dollars and 99 cents so if you see candy buckets for halloween that look different or look old i would definitely pick them up all right we are getting into some more fun stuff this is again probably another thing that i could do that i could do a whole video on this is a briar's horse this is a briar horse bats in the belfry this horse has bats all over it it sold for five hundred dollars here it is up close just so you can see really really good artwork on it and a lot of these briar horses are worth good money all right we have some polish pottery polish pottery pumpkin this is a 2014 bostwick jack-o-lantern large halloween pumpkin Polish pottery. It sold for $499. Here it is up close. Really, really cool pumpkin pottery there. And here on the bottom, you can see it is clearly marked. Up next is a witch. I think it's kind of like a witch doll. This is a Mark Roberts Witch Queen of Halloween. This sold for $475. Here she is up close. So you can see her with her one tooth. And then here I wanted to show you on the back on her hat, it does say Roberts. Up next is something I'm surprised we haven't seen already in this video. It is a Jim Shore piece. Sure, if I do ones down under that $400 mark, we would probably see quite a few. This is a Jim Shore haunted house, wicked with sounds and lights and motion, new in the box. It sold for $475. Here you can see it up close. A very, very classic Jim Shore look on that piece. All right, next is a 12 inch paper mache witch. This is a 12 and a half inch paper mache German witch candy container. Another one by Paul Turner. This one was an auction, got 24 bids and sold for $515.05. 
here you can see the witch up close and then here on the bottom you can see it is signed Turner. All right, up next is some china. We haven't had any china yet, so this one is exciting. It is a set of plates. This is Royal Stafford. It is the witch scene Halloween set of eight dinner and salad bowls. This one sold for $500. And here you can see up close the plates with the salad bowl, and they do have the witch design. And then here on the back, you can see it clearly says Royal Stafford. All right, we have got another vintage paper mache lantern. This is a rare vintage Halloween jack-o-lantern. This one is his really cool face. One tooth was an auction, got 18 bids, sold for $535. And here you can see it up close. Really, really cool piece. And this is another one again that is very small. And we've got some more celluloid coming in again over $500. This is a rare antique celluloid roll. It says rolls poly. I, I don't know if that's correct. Black cat from 1920 to 1930. This was an auction, got 19 bids, sold for $543. Here you can see it in their hand. This is a very, very small piece, crazy price of $543. And here on the bottom, you can see it is not marked. All right, we had the Max in the other videos and we have one in here as well, coming in at over $500. This is a Lamax Spooky Town Halloween Octo Squeeze. It says it works, but no box. It sold for $549. Here it is up close, really, really cool. It's like an octopus Halloween ride definitely a cool piece so watch out for Lamax. all right this next one is a classic to me to me it's a creepy it's a creepy clown to me it's a creepy clown so you see what you think this is a caesar vintage merry clown mask halloween resurrection no reserve it was an auction got 50 bids and sold for 550 dollars here is that mask up close. This one is in pretty immaculate condition. I don't see any wear on it, and that was a great sale at $550. All right, we have got another purse coming in over $500. This one is a Disney Loungefly. If you do not know Disney and Loungefly, I would definitely learn those because they are big money. This is a Loungefly Disney Parks exclusive candy corn halloween mini backpack and ears set this one sold for 540 dollars and here up close you can see so much sparkle on all of this and it is clearly marked disney parks and lounge fly this next one is really cool because it is an artist piece so i said it before at the end of the other video if you're an artist and you can do stuff like this, do it because it is bringing the money. This is a one of a kind Halloween painted dollhouse furniture set. This is dollhouse miniature painted Halloween table, sofa, and chair set for the living room, one twelfth size. It was an auction, got 11 bids, sold for $565. Here you can see all three pieces sitting up. Really cool with the man and the moon, the black cats, the pumpkins. And here's another one with that table laying on its side. You can also see the spider webs on the arms. Just a really, really neat set. All right, we've got another Halloween mug. This one sold for close to $600 for one mug. This is a rare Halloween Michael Myers Tiki mug only 850 made worldwide. This one sold for $565. Here is the mug from the top. And then I also wanted to show you the box here. And the cool thing is, look at the stirrer. It is a knife that says Halloween. Okay, we had a Halloween golf club head cover in our other video. And now we have one in this one. And this is another Scotty Cameron head cover. This is a Scotty Cameron 2017 Knock 'em Dead mid round putter cover. This one sold for $575.
Here you can see this one was new in the package, said knock them dead, and it clearly says Scotty Cameron and Titleist. All right, this next one is one of the bigger ones. It is a motion one, but if you, again, if you run into these at garage sales in their box, I definitely would think about picking them up. This is a rare Spirit Halloween Demonica animated prop animatronic realistic movements this one sold for five hundred and eighty five dollars you can see there it is in the box so here's the box up close keep an eye out for those animated halloween decorations in the box when you're going to yard sales and here i wanted to show you they did show this plugged in and that it was working next is another department 56 halloween piece again watch for these I would I would watch for these more than the Christmas ones because I think they're they're cooler than the Christmas ones. This is a Department 56 Halloween Witch Hollow Sasha's Book Emporium. This was issued in 2019, so it is newer. It was an auction, got 52 bids, sold for $577 and here you can see it up close again they do show that it is working all right up next is a halloween skateboard so if you want to know about more about skateboards my friend scott over at cha-ching king did a research video only on skateboards because he's found some that are really valuable this one sold for almost six hundred dollars this is a halloween michael myers 2001 skateboard deck it is autographed by four people. This one did sell for $575. Here on the bottom, you can see it does say Silver Shamrock Novelties. And here on the other end of the skateboard, you can see the four autographs. All right, this next one's pretty cool. It sold for almost $600. What I think is so cool about it is the original five cent price tag that was still on it. And it still went for almost $600 hundred dollars this is a near mint vintage halloween die cut candle table decoration by denison it is from the 1920s it was an auction got 29 bids sold for 586 dollars here you can see that scared cat up close and then here on the bottom you can see the cats walking along all right this next one is a halloween shirt that is literally Halloween shirt. This is a Halloween the movie promo blue grape merchandising from 2001 vintage horror. It was size extra large. It sold for $599.99. And here you can see the t-shirt up close. I will tell you there were multiples of this and they all were selling very high. Up next is some more Catherine's collection. I will tell you Catherine's collection is definitely out there because I found some Catherine's collection ornaments in my ornament lot I bought from an online auction. So it's definitely out there. This next one is a Halloween item from Catherine's collection. This is Catherine's collection. It is a spider couple. One of them is missing the shoe. You can see here with the tape measure that they are right at a foot tall and they sold for five hundred dollars all right coming up next are two barbies if you do not know some barbies can be very very expensive the majority of them are not but the ones that really stand out and are rare can go for hundreds just like these two did the first one is a barbie collector holiday hostess Halloween hot doll. This was gold label. It was in the box. This one sold for $595. Here you can see it up close, her dress and her makeup. Really, really cool Halloween Barbie. The next one is another Barbie and this one is not very old. It's from 2019. So it's not just older Barbies that go high. Some newer ones can go high as well. This is a Mattel 2019 Dia de los Muertos Barbie doll. New in the box, limited edition. It sold for $600. You can see the box here. Even the box looks cool. Here is the Barbie on the inside. And then here you can see with it open, both the picture as well as the Barbie doll. New in the box in excellent condition. 
All right, next brings up another item that if you do not know, most of them sell for big money and it is a seatbelt backpack. If you find seatbelt backpacks or seatbelt purses, they are valuable. This is a Harvey's Black Cat backpack seatbelt, new Halloween spooky. It sold for $611.50. Here on the back, you can see it is seatbelts for the straps, as well as the whole bag is made of seatbelts. And here on the inside, you can see it is clearly marked Harvey's. All right, we have got another Radco Halloween ornament coming in at over $600. This is a Radco Bonio Hallowhead skeleton ornament. It was an auction, got 17 bids, and sold for $621.11. Here it is up close, so absolutely amazing for an ornament to sell for over $600. All right, we have got another Halloween purse, and it's another Disney. This is a Disney Dooney and Burke Hocus Pocus tote bag purse. Halloween purple and orange you it sold for six hundred dollars here you can see it up close it does have the original tags it still has the paper on the handles and that's a great sale at six hundred dollars all right we are up to our last item on this third video in the series and it is another jack-o-lantern this is a Halloween jack-o-lantern four and a half inches tall it is from Germany. It sold for $633.99 on auction, got 24 bids. Here it is up close. Again, remember this is only four inches tall. And here on the bottom, you can see it is clearly marked Germany. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this, the third in the series of Halloween videos. If you wanna see more, tell me. I'll be happy to make one or maybe even two more going down, you know, 300, 200, maybe $100 Halloween items. It's really, really fun to do the research on the Halloween stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out with me in the premiere. I hope you have an excellent, excellent weekend. I will see my sourcing members. If you want to look for stuff like this live with me, hit the join button below any video. Check out the memberships. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I will see my members tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody else, I will see you on Monday. Bye for now.